All right, we good. So, let me put my little charger right here. All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Vashem, Yahweh Shah, Vashem, Rachadash. Double honors to the apostles and the others of the great millstone. Peace and taste to the Akiyam, to the elect. That are scattered across the four corners of this earth, preaching the truth and faith and sincerity. I'm the brother uh, Shamala. Brother Shamal Warren. Yeah, we're just some brothers uh, from the GMS Houston camp. All right, just going to get a quick lesson there going into the Gentiles. Very quick, simple, you know, straight to the point lesson. And um, yeah, we're just going to get straight into it. So we'll start here. And um, I'll read that Ephesians for you out. Come. This is Ephesians 2 and 11. It says, Wherefore, remember that ye being in time past Gentiles in the flesh who are called uncircumcision by that which is called the circumcision in the flesh made by hands. God. <clears throat> so again, Ephesians 2 and 11, it says, Wherefore, remember that ye being in times past Gentiles in the flesh. And a, a key point is, uh, with that word Gentiles, you have to understand the context, the context which in the word is being used, because you have, and we'll get the definition, but you have natural Gentiles, which is, you know, uh, a non-Israelite nation known as the heathen also, and also Israelites that are like unto Gentiles, you know, foreigners who grew up in the, uh, basically like the customs of a heathen nation, right. but it says, remember that ye being in time past Gentiles in the flesh. And during these times, you actually had Israelites that were, you know, foreigners to the, the covenant, the commandments, and who are actually physically uh, uncircumcised. Then it says, who are called uncircumcision by that which is called circumcision in the flesh made by hands. So, like it says, these these Gentiles that it's speaking about are Israelite foreigners, you know, those who were basically alienated from the commonwealth of Israel, you sure. know, those who didn't grow up in the law, statutes, and commandments. And also, it says they were called uncircumcision by that which is called circumcision. Yeah, the, the Israelites who knew they were Israelites, the Jews, the ones who grew up uh, in the law, statutes, and commandments, the ones who were physically circumcised. Then it says, continuing on, it says, um, it says, who are called uncircumcision by that which is called the circumcision in the flesh made by hands. So uh, <clears throat> just going into that. Right. You, know, you, actually, you got it out. Yeah, like you were saying, basically, because people read this and uh, they say, oh, Gentiles, it's talking about, basically talking about all nations, right? But it says that ye being in time past Gentiles, like this is, He's saying that you used to be a Gentile. Now, we know that a Gentile, a natural-born Gentile, cannot change their nationality. So that's why you got to you gotta try to see who is Paul actually talking to. All right? He says, in time past, right, you were Gentiles in the flesh who are called the uncircumcision. All right? Like the brother was going into, uncircumcision. Those were the ones, the, the Israelite foreigners that didn't, that wasn't keeping the customs, but they knew that they were Israel, right? And you had the ones who didn't know. And then you had the, the circumcisions, the ones, like the brother said, the ones that grew up in the law, statutes, and commandments. They 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 knew everything, right? They were keeping everything, you see? You know, uh, they were following the laws. They knew about the laws, right? Fringes, everything, you see? And they were looking down on the other, uh, on, on the Israelite phones. They were treating them like heathen. All right, so I got a precept. God. Romans 2 and 25. For circumcision verily profit if thou keep the law. But if thou be a breaker of the law, thy circumcision is made uncircumcision. So these Israelite foreigners, they weren't keeping the law. So they looked at them as being uncircumcised, as being as heathen. That's why it says, the uncircumcision by that which is called the circumcision in the flesh made by hands. 
Right. So you had the Israelites that were talking shit like y'all are heathen. Hey, y'all not keeping the law. Y'all didn't come up like we came up. All right. The most I ain't dealing with y'all. It's basically what they were saying. But what else you what else uh precept you had? Uh, the the Maccabees. Yeah, we could get that going to uh a little history on that. Right. This is uh this is first Maccabees chapter one, and I'll start at verse eleven. It reads, In those days went out of Israel wicked men who persuaded many, saying, Let us go and make a covenant with the heathen that are round about us. For since we departed from them, we have had much sorrow. Continuing on, it says, So this device pleased them well. Then certain of the people were so forward herein that they went to the king who gave them license to do after the ordinances of the heathen. So going back into this, how they said, let us go and make a covenant with the heathen. That's that's saying whenever you make a covenant with the heathen, that's you departing from the laws, statutes and commandments that were given unto the nation of Israel. Right. So. And, and, and with the law, statutes, and commandments, that's what divides us from being a heathen, you know? that That's what separates us from these other nations, that we actually live by the law, statutes, and commandments that the Heavenly Father gave us. They don't have that to keep. So whenever you depart from those laws and the customs and the ordinances of the Heavenly Father, now you're growing up or you're being raised and groomed in the customs of these heathen that don't have the instructions from the Heavenly Father. I got a precept. Fine. Exodus 23 and 32. It says, Thou shalt make no covenant with them, nor with their gods. All right. This is the, the Heavenly Father basically saying, you know, through Moses, right? Thou shalt make no covenant with the heathen over their gods. Why? It says, They shall not dwell in, in thy land, lest they make thee sin against me. For if thou serve their gods, it will surely be a snare unto thee, All right? So he said, basically, they're going to make you sin against me. So making a covenant with the heathen was basically, like the brother said, making you depart away from the law, statutes, and commandments of the Heavenly Father. And now you were living like them, right? Mm -hmm. The whole covenant, a covenant is an agreement, right? At first, Maccabees, like I said, hey, they went to the king, Antiochus, right? To basically get permission to, to be a, a fucking heathen, right? And mm -hmm. Antiochus, he was with it. So they knew he wasn't going to say no. All right. It says that ever since, in verse 11, it says, In those days that went out of Israel, wicked men who persuaded many, saying, Let us go and make a covenant with the heathen that are round about us. For since we departed from them, we have had much sorrow. So they they knew that, you know, if they got with the heathen and made a covenant with them, that basically they were going to get the benefits. They were going to be able to enjoy themselves. They were going to be able to live like a fucking Greek. And they and, and that was exciting to them. But if you kept the laws, you had to be disciplined, right? They the, the 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 heathen will look down on you. Like if you was to be circumcised and you was the and people who actually knew you were circumcised back then, they would fucking look down on you. All right. So they were catching hell. They're like, man, look, fuck all this. We wanna yeah. go to the gym. <laughs> we wanna go to the gym right there, you know, butt naked. Like, hey, that's how our people was. But you gotta got you good thing. Con. Uh, first Maccabees chapter one in verse uh I'll start at 13 again. It says, Then certain of the people were so forward herein that they went to the king who gave them license to do after the ordinances of the heathen, whereupon they built a place of exercise at Jerusalem according to the customs of the heathen, and made themselves uncircumcised and forsook the holy covenant and joined themselves to the heathen and were sold to do mischief. And like you said, hey, that place of exercise, like they were actually uh, naked, man. And for you to be circumcised in the eyes of the heathen, hey, what, is it, what does it say in verse 15? It says, they made and made themselves uncircumcised. And, and you know, hearing the uh, apostle Ariam love going to it, they physically made themselves uncircumcised. And also spiritually by departing from the lost statutes and commandments and taking on the ordinances of the heathen too. Right. Hey, that 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 act is called a uh, epispasm. Yeah. When they, when they put the foreskin back on, they was actually doing that shit. 
right? Yeah. But like he said, like, hey, it was actual spiritual too from the part from the Heavenly Father. This is 1 Corinthians 7 and 19. Circumcision is nothing, and uncircumcision is nothing, but the keeping of the commandments of the Most High. That's the difference. That's, mm -hmm. that's the difference between circumcision and uncircumcision is just keeping the law. When you don't keep the law, you un you consider uncircumcised. And when you're keeping the law, you are the circumcision. All right? That's basically what that's saying. Okay. All right, what you got next, Doc? Let's see. Um, I had Second Maccabees six and one, but that's just another account of you know the the Jews being persuaded to depart from the laws of the Heavenly Father. Go ahead, bro. You can grab it up. Okay, Con. This is uh, this is Second Maccabees chapter six and verse one. It says, "Not long after this, the king sent an old man of Athens to compel Jews to depart." from the laws of their fathers and not to live after the laws of God. And that's something that's been repetitive, you know, among the nation. And with, with this act being with, with this act happening to the nation of Israel, that's why I fast forward into the times that we started into where Paul said, for you were Gentiles, you know, this is what happened. You grew up having nothing to do with the, with the commandments of the heavenly father living in the, the ordinances that the Lord gave unto us. So that's why you had the circumcision looking at the uncircumcision, like as if, you know, they were literally a piece of shit and had no hope or no way getting back into the heavenly father, because you forsook that and you are now full fledged living just like a heathen would, you know, uh, what verse you started at? Uh? I started at verse uh, one. What, what we, six, verse one. Were you reading down to? Uh, second Maccabees six and one. That was just the point. I could keep going though. Oh no, okay, no, that's cool. I, I was just trying to see how far you was going. Yeah, that was it on that. Right. Yeah, like I, like he was saying, bro. You you always had you had these men um going around that was set up by Antiochus that would try to you know get our people to depart from the laws of Heavenly Father. And if you did not um you know comply, you would be put to death. And I grab that as well. So. Okay. Some people, right, gave in willingly because they wanted to do it. Like I said, that they went to the king to get the, get permission, right? And you had some, you know, that died for the lost that's commandments, you see? And you also had some that were just forced, that were afraid, right, to be put to death, right? But this is first Maccabees 1. At 60, it says, at which time, according to the commandment, they put to death certain women that had caused their children to be circumcised. So, hey, this devil went around murdering our people for, for keeping the law, statute, commandment that was passed us you know, from the Heavenly Father. Hey, this is this is what we was commanded to keep. All right? We didn't have no choice. All right? You know, but, hey, this these, these were our laws, that's the commandment that we have to follow. And, hey, they had people going around, like, hey, if if I find this your your your, your children, I mean your son circumcised, right? You're gonna die. All right? It said, and they hang the infants about their necks and right for their houses and slew them that had circumcised them. So they killed them and the babies. I'll bid many in Israel were fully resolved and confirmed themselves not to eat any unclean thing, wherefore the rather to die that they might not be defiled with meats. And that they might not profane the holy covenant. So then they died. All right. So hey, you had people being forced. Like I said, you had the ones that were dying, all right, for the lost of commandments. You had the ones that were willingly forsaken. That was the uncircumcised. Those are the ones who wanted to be like the heathen. Right. And you had the ones that were just afraid. And they gave in, right? And they taught it to their children and to their children and to their children after that. And that's how. You got the, the 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 ministry of Paul, the apostle of the Gentiles. These were who he was sent to go teach. Mm -hmm. uh, you got it up. You had another precept. Yeah, just going into that history because it's man, it's, it's heavy, bro. Just another account. This is uh second Maccabees six. And I'm gonna I'm gonna start at uh I'm gonna start at verse eight. It says Moreover, there went out a decree to the neighbor cities of the heathen by the suggestion of Ptolemy against the Jews that they should observe the same fashions 
and be partakers of their sacrifices. And whoso would not conform themselves to the manners of the Gentiles should be put to death. And that's the heathen, you know. It says, then might a man have seen the present misery. For there were two women brought who had circumcised their children. And when they had openly led round about the city, the babes hanging at their breasts, they cast them down headlong from the wall. And just showing you how uh, how much hell the Israelites were catching for keeping the customs of the Heavenly Father. You know, through through the these tragic acts, that was a way of, so say, like beating the commandments out of us and, and getting us on track with it after the ways of the heathen. Then um, last verse, verse 11, it says, and others, they had run together into caves nearby to keep the Sabbath day uh, secretly. Being discovered to Philip were all burnt together because they made they made a conscience to help themselves for the honor of the most sacred day. So even trying to keep the, the, the Holy Sabbath, man, they were found out about them. They were burnt for yeah. keeping the ways of the Heavenly Father. And, you know, just like we're going into, that had a big effect uh, on the years later to come on the nation of Israel, man. Right. Like you had, like I said, you had those that fought and that stood up. So you got the, you got something called the Maccabean Revolt. Mm -hmm. Right. We started with Matt Mattathias, right. And um, his, his sons, right. Yeah. Judas Maccabees and his brothers, right. They revolted. Right. And those were the ones that stood up for the last Testament commandments. And that kept, you know, with, um, a line, that line of Israel basically attached, you know, to, to the customs. Right, because you know everybody, everybody wouldn't like that. Everybody didn't turn into uh, to to Israelite foreigners or to Gentiles. Everybody wasn't in that Gentiles state of mind. All right, but I got a precept. Okay, John seven and thirty five. Then said the Jews among themselves, "Whither will he go that we shall not find him? Will he go into the disperse among the Gentiles and teach the Gentiles?" Right. So basically. Because Yahweh Shah said, hey, you shall seek me and shall not find me. So they were like, what are you talking about? What are you, what are you finna head to? Is mm -hmm. he finna go over there and, you know, amongst the Gentiles and teach the Gentiles? Right? Why did why did they say that? Because, hey, they said they disperse, All right? The scattered. Because who would be scattered? According to, uh, to privacy, according to Deuteronomy 28 and 64. Hey, if you can grab that too, uh, Con. Deuteronomy 28, 64, right? It says that our people, you know, will be scattered and this will be a curse. I got you. <clears throat> this is Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 64. And Yahweh shall scatter thee among all people from one end of the earth, even unto the other. And there thou shalt serve other gods, which neither thou nor thy fathers have known even wood and stone. Right. So you're going to be scattered amongst all these different nations, you see. And hey, and you were you were going to be worshiping their gods. Meaning, hey, <laughs> they were going to be in a Gentile state of mind. They were going to be living like the heathen that they were living around. Because Jeremiah 17 and 4, what that say? He said, thou shalt be discontinued from thine heritage. All right. So they were going to be, they're going to depart from their heritage and cling on to whatever land that they were in. All right. Hey, and the way they departed from, from their heritage is, was, was through captivity. It, it was through a form of what we were reading in the first Maccabees. It was being forced. All right? And then it just kept getting passed down. All right? But it says, well, will he go into the disperse? When you get that word, disperse. All right? It's Strong's G1290. Diaspora. It said a scattering, dispersion of Israelites dispersed among foreign nations. Mm -hmm. So when you read in the New Testament about the Gentiles, they were going to receive salvation. Right? They were hearing the word. They were they were they were they were glad to hear the word. Right? That the Holy Spirit got sent upon. Those are the Israelites. The Holy Spirit ain't being sent to no heathen. Right? The Lord, the Lord ain't 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 finna send his word, the understanding 
you know, the 100% truth, the understanding of prophecies and break it down. Is, he not sending that to no heathen, bro. You got it up. What do you had next? Oh, just going back to how uh, going into the dispersed, how they were Israelites. So whenever you read this, you kind of get an understanding, or you do get an understanding now that it's not talking about another nation. It's talking about the Israelite foreigners that were amongst the heathen, right? So this is 1 Corinthians chapter 12 and verse 2. Huh. It says, you know that ye were Gentiles carried away unto these dumb idols, even as ye were led. And just like from uh, Deuteronomy from the beginning, it says you will be amongst the nations serving other gods, wood and stone and so on and so forth. So that hey, this is a result to this. Again, it says, you know that you were Gentiles carried away unto these dumb idols, even as you were led. So knowing, getting a backdrop on the history and going into these words, like the brother brought out, uh, that diaspora dispersed. That's talking about Israelites being in a foreign land, you right. know, who the outcome of being in a, in a foreign land around another nation, another nations, you they caught on to their customs. And that's how they were brought up in those ways. Right. I precept. Colossians 1 and 21. And you that were sometimes alienated, that were sometimes, like you said, hey. And that, and that the, the scripture you just read, ye were Gentiles. Mm -hmm. Colossians 1 is speaking to the Israelite that were in Coloss, right? And you that were Israelite foreigners, and you that were sometimes alienated and enemies in your mind Ooh. by wicked works, yet now he he reconciled. So these this this is who the truth was for him in the gospel. Those who were enemies in their mind. Gentiles in their mind, right? The 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 apostles, right, and um, other other men of the Lord were teaching all of these people, right, to turn back to to to, to repent to the heavenly Father. Yeah. Right. You see, like you said, you had the you had the apostles, then you had the men that believed on them and that came and that was that was teaching, bro. They were teaching the, the Israelites. That was it, right? The this this truth, man, the salvation. Kingdom of Heaven, Romans the ninth chapter, going to all this, and Lord willing, we can get into that in another lesson, like a, a part two of it. You see, because this yeah. is like a, a, my topic. You know, hey, we'll be all night. You know, here, sitting here talking about you know the Gentiles. You see, but yeah, I, I you know whatever other scripture you got, bro. You, we, can, we can wrap it up whenever you're ready. Yeah, hey, that was the point. You know, uh, we, hey, Lord willing, we could get into it again. You know, to go further into it. Con. Well, yeah, hey, that was it, man. We hope um, you brothers and you listen out there edify. Like I said, just a real very quick lesson, you know, going into the Gentiles. Lord willing, we come back with a part two, you know, you know, going further into it, you know, even more scriptures, uh, more history, all right? So, you know, with that, I'm going to give all praise, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Rukakadash, the Bible, to the apostles, and the others, a great millstone, peace, salutations to the Akiyam. To the elect that scattered across the four corners of this earth, pushing the truth of faith and sincerity. Shalom. And amazing.